Good morning, guys. How are we doing? Welcome to Trade Confident. Hope you guys are having a good one. If you guys haven't seen it, we did end up exiting all of the position for ADA. So ADA was another win for us. This is the 31st trade we have won on this channel. So if you guys want to follow along with the channel that's live trading, we're currently up $856.26 out of all of our trades. And we've made some other withdrawals here. So if you guys want to come along and trade, awesome. We haven't lost a trade on the chart yet. Ethereum is uh, currently being managed and that's what we're going to be going over today. So Ethereum, guys, what are we going to do? Well, the biggest thing that I need to tell you guys is please come over here. This is $49 a month. Just got to make that very clear. Come over to the live trades and set up your live trade right now for Ethereum. If you guys have been watching this channel and you're like, man, Travis, I love that you're making good money. I want to get in. I know you haven't lost this trade yet. This is how we're doing it, guys. Come over here, click on Ethereum, set up your long trade, set up your Doge long trade, Cardano, your Ripple, your Uniswap, your Bitcoin, whatever you'd like. Very quickly for all the people who are new to this channel, this is what the chart's going to look like for all of our live trading coins on the front page. The price is going to be in white here. At 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, this is going to update. All you guys need to do is put um, four buy limits in your exchange. The four yellow lines below the current basically the live price or the white dotted line at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You don't have to get in here at 8. You can look at here at two, 2 in the afternoon. All you need to do is just make sure you use the four yellow lines below the current price, and those are your buy limits. Guys, I'm ready. I'm set up for Ethereum. I'm set up for ADA, and so that's what we're going to be going over today. We're going to go over the um, emotional index, the long versus short trades, long versus short trade risk, well and institutional smart money, support resistance prices, dollar cost average entries, and exit points today. So let's dive right in. So those of you guys in the short trade, um, if you guys are still in this, you guys are currently sitting, uh, you guys were at negative 2133. You are now sitting at only 14.43 uh, in the negative. I know I literally think there's like two people out of all 15,000 who are in here, but I just wanted to keep covering that for you guys. So I'm going to take this off the chart for now because I want to show you guys what I'm looking at as far as this long trade, but I just want to keep that on the charts here. So it's all transparent. Okay. Take a look at this. This is what I want to draw your attention to. This guy right down here. I know a ton of you guys have the trend exhaustion and the price versus the well money flow indicator now. The reason why this has been so popular lately is because it's been so good at calling the bottoms before we see moves back up as well as calling the tops before we see moves back down, okay? If you take a look at this, this called the bottom very nicely before we started moving up and it's actually the bottom of this bull market cycle. This right here also helped us call the bottom a little bit. We saw a little bit of a move down here, but then we started easily moving back up from there, and it wasn't like we crashed from there. Taking a look at this, this also called the bottom here before we started moving back up. And then come back over here and show you guys how this ended up calling, this guy right here, ended up calling this bottom. We saw a little bit of a move back up there. This called the bottom here, which is exactly this bottom there. We started moving back up, so on and so forth, guys. This indicator, just get it on your charts. You will not regret it whatsoever. I, this is how I actually exit a lot of my trades when we get into the top red section if you've been watching this channel. So this obviously begs the question of what is this showing us right now? Well, currently we're seeing that this is sit sitting at the bottom red zone. Well, the price versus the well money flow needs to be taken into consideration as well. And if you guys have this, let me teach you the number one way I use this. I'm sorry, let me go back over here. Come over here to the settings icon, take price off, click okay, and then watch this. If you guys see price action moving sideways in the market like this, or you guys see a higher high formation like that. I'm just gonna draw on the chart here, like this, okay. See how this is a higher high? So like a high, a higher low, and a higher high. We didn't get the higher high, but since price action was moving sideways, we can come down here and say, what, what are, what's Wells doing? This indicator is literally pulling on-chain metrics for the exchange on Coinbase and looking at, or is there more selling pressure or buying pressure? Money was moving out of the market drastically here while we were seeing consolidation. This is a strong sign of a prediction. This, these two indicators predict the future moves. This is a prediction that the price is gonna go down in the future and that's exactly what we ended up seeing. So guys, these two indicators, I promise you, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, these are so amazing. You guys can get this in the description of this YouTube channel or you guys can go over to the indicators tab on tradeconfident.io here you guys go. There's the trend exhaustion. There's the price versus the well money flow and all the other indicators. If you guys want the bundle deal, this will save you the most money. It is on crazy sale right now if you guys want to snag that. All right, let's go over real quick the uh, metrics and then I'm going to give you guys my final take on what I think um, we should be doing for Ethereum here. So let's go over that. Come over here. You guys not only get access to the trade setup for Ethereum, but you also get access to the um, metrics for all the top coins you guys see up here with your membership. This will update at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is in literally just uh, about an hour here. Now, I think, uh, was it yesterday? It was either yesterday or the day before. I'll need to check my YouTube videos, but I was talking to you guys about this greedy section up here. 
Guys, the last time we got into the greedy section was up here, but very strongly was at the all-time high. Guys, did you guys know Ethereum dropped 60%? from the all-time high. It was 60% drop. Now, I know you're not seeing it there. If you come back over here, guys, this is a 60% drop in the market back down. Could we be seeing a precursor to that? This is a pretty big drop here, guys. Like, th this is, um, it's dropping a little bit faster than I was predicting. This red candle right here, to me, with this being such a large candle, this might be a lot of institutions coming in and taking profit driving this down or maybe some short trades entering the market driving this down as well so the combination of that i think is what really drove us down but retail traders being very greedy in the market guys this is how you trade against retail traders and stay on the sides of wells and institutions you have to look at the emotions of traders i know a bunch of people unfortunately even people who emailed me they're like travis you know, I, I know you're going to stay patient for the drop, but I just can't handle it. I have to get in. And I'm like, hey, I'm not going to bash you ever. I totally understand the emotions. You have to lose in the market in order to be as patient as I am. I literally did a coaching call and someone asked me, they're like, how are you so patient and non-emotional? It's because I've lost a ton of money. Like it was, this was many years ago, but I lost a lot of money in the market. And I'm like, no, I'm never doing that again. And so I never FOMO into positions at the top anymore. I always wait for discounts. And you guys have seen me wait for every single one. The reason why I can prove that is we always use buy, always use buy limits. You can never not get into a discount on a coin if you use buy limits because buy limits always have to be fulfilled below the current price. So anyways, that's just how I trade. We're always patient. So watch that. Okay, long versus short trades on Ethereum. Short trades, as I've been telling you guys, are drastically increasing, which I was telling you this yesterday. I'm almost positive I did the video yesterday. Anyways, this is a huge bearish sign, guys. When short trades increase this much and you have long trades just barely trickling up here, this is going to crash back down. There's too much pressure trying to push it down. The question that we're going to try to answer at the end of this video is how low is this thing going to go and what's the best next thing to do? And I will be covering that. Okay. Uh, long of a short trade risk. If you didn't think this was a good short trade signal up here, you know, that that's obviously off the charts, <laughs> you know, calling the drop here. Now, not in any short trades you currently, well, excuse me, not taking any short trades, currently just managing the one that we're in. And I'm only going long on this channel just to let you guys know. Okay. Take a look at this institutional smart money looking for those short trades. Look what they did. Guys, I was like, telling you guys, this is ridiculous. This is such, this was the two highest metric bars to the downside that we have ever gotten on Ethereum for, for these metrics since they were created. That was telling us, heads up, heads up, warning, 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 we could be going down. And obviously we ended up moving down there. So again, this called it very well. If you guys are following this and you understand how this works, Smart money is going to wait for all the retail traders to get really excited and greedy. They're going to make them think that it's going to the moon, which the moon will never happen. Like, I'm sorry, I'm going to get some bad comments about that. Here's what I mean by that. People are thinking it's going to go to the moon. Like, it's just going to keep going up and keep going up and keep going up. That will not happen. Everything will have a retracement back down. So that's another reason why, you know, when, when prices go up really high and you're like, oh my gosh, I missed out. I'm like, no, you didn't. You just need to be patient for the drop and we'll get back into it and ride it back up. So give yourself grace, guys. If you see your favorite coin going to the moon, it's going to retrace back down. Everything will eventually do that. Everyone thought Ethereum was going to the moon. I know it because I saw it all on YouTube and, and there's a lot of people saying, you know, this is going to go to the moon. And then we saw a 60% drop. Just be patient, guys. Give yourself grace when you're trading. It will come back, okay? Um, this is looking very good for us. This ended up calling the drop perfectly if we want to look at that. What I am watching for this next week for this drop on Ethereum is metric bars to print to the upside. If that happens, guys, just like it did here, just like it did here, and just like it did over here, this is very strong signs that we're going to see another pump in Ethereum. That is why we have our long trade set up, and you need to make sure you have your long trade set up today. Okay, guys, this has dropped out. Where is the next place we're looking for a support for this to catch for a move down? 3,378, 3, right around 3,300. Let's go take a look at that. 3,300 is right around this structure support right here. This is very close to the buy limit, the first buy limit for us in the exchange, okay? I'm not going to show you this to you guys right now because I want to keep this for our paying subscribers, but all you need to do is come over here to Live Trades, click this right here. I already showed you guys in the beginning, but there's four buy limits you can set up right now. Make sure you guys do set that up, and, and you guys will be literally triggered in with us on the next trade. I have all my buy limits set up for Coinbase right now. I have all my ADA and all my Ethereum set up based off the charts that we have on the website. So if you guys like 
following me. We haven't lost a single trade on this chart yet. Still managing Ethereum. You guys can come do that. Okay, dollar cost average entries are looking really good. You guys are doing incredible on that if you guys just put in money and you're holding for the long term. Exit points. Guys, this is why you need to watch these metrics. If you guys took long trades right here, it's just not smart. When we get blocks in here of red, yes, the price can keep going up, but this exit point is taking exits once you guys are in a long trade. So what I the reason to point this out is when you guys see blocks here, just like we saw this block over here when we started pushing to the all-time high, this is a signal that we could be heading down very fast, and that's what we ended up getting was this very quick drop of 10% in the market. Okay, that's a full update for the metrics. Obviously still looking bearish, but the biggest thing I want you guys to take away from this, get your membership today. $49 a month is plenty worth it. I have people making thousands of dollars um, per week with this. What you guys need to do is simply just click on Ethereum right here. Click on this. It will open up the live trade chart. It will look very close to this and just set up your four buy length. It's just simply the four yellow lines below the current price. That's all it is. And then we're just waiting for this to get tagged back in. Now, I purposely made the buy limits a little bit lower because I do think Ethereum could come down and go, you know, I do think we could see a, a further move down on Ethereum here, guys. I know the trend exhaustion is at the bottom here, and we could see a little bit of a retracement here, and this could push back up into the middle section here and then drop back down again. There's just still so much shorting power for Ethereum. So watch this today, guys. Literally, this is going to be really fun. At 8 a.m., watch this update. See for yourself if short trades actually increase further at 8 a.m. or if short trades start moving out of the market and long trades increase. This will be a way you guys can tell if this rally is going to continue down or continue up. Watch this. If short trades decrease at 9 o'clock and long trades increase, this is a sign that you're gonna probably start seeing Ethereum move back up. But if long trades guys just keep doing this little like sideways pattern here and short trades increase, this is a very bearish sign that Ethereum is probably gonna come down and test structure support right around this area, which is gonna be 3,300. Very close, hint, hint, to where we have our first buy limit. Make sure you guys do get the exact buy limit that we have because I set them up at quarter series numbers, Fibonacci retracement, and I we lit, like, it's important to get there because we literally got tagged in at the bottom right here if you guys watched the ADA trade and it was literally rock bottom before we headed back up. So there's a reason why I placed them where I placed them out of trading 3,000 plus hours. There's a reason for all of the buy limits exactly where they're at. All right, guys, congratulations for all of you who are winning trades on this channel. Um, thanks so much for all the kind comments and thanks for sending me your testimonials. It kind of just, it's just really fun to um, get those over email. Make sure you guys set up your long trade today. That's the biggest thing I need to tell you guys. And then guys, make sure you have the price versus the well money flow, the trend exhaustion indicator. This is helping us call drops in the market before they happen. Use it for your own analysis. And definitely, we're going to be using these two very strongly once we're in our long trade to scale out. So you want to follow along with that. Those are in the description as well as over at the website at tradeindicators.com. There you go, guys. Have a good one. God bless you so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Exciting times coming. Bye, guys.